This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. Good afternoon, this is Jared Gleeson at TH King Oval where this afternoon St Kevin's Old Boys have defeated Old Kerry by 99 points. I have with me the head coach of St Kevin's, Guy Martin. Guy, after a couple of uh, pretty ordinary weeks, do you feel the ship was righted a bit today? Were you happy with how your structures work today? Uh, yeah, we were. And look, ultimately, we just had to get a win to officially lock in a finals berth. I mean, we were looking likely, but you know, mathematically and all that sort of stuff. And had we lost today, it actually would have been, um, you know, we, we wouldn't have been locked in. So that was first and foremost. Um, and yeah, we had to come out and, and play. We had a, a few set targets and goals to do, and I, and I thought we met it. I mean, look, admittedly, when you get on a bit of a roll and get in front, it's, it's easier to play the way you want to play, but I, I felt we stuck to it pretty well throughout the game, um, and yeah, I was really, really happy with the way they played, actually. And with what's happening at Old Zavs at the moment, is it mathematically possible to get second? Nah, nah unless, unless the, the VAFA points, they take the points off them for the, the, the points thing against, um, against LR. No, we're still two games. We'll still be two games behind them. Okay. Uh, percentage is pretty close, so even if we won next week and they lost next week, they are playing collegians next week, mm -hmm. um, but I think they would still leave us a game. So unless the Vaffa take the four points off them, um, I think we're, we're locked into you know, third, fourth elimination final. Yeah. The back six looked as, as good as ever today after, um, after, after some pretty tough weeks where the, it just wasn't sort of gelling. Are you happy with the back six? I am. Look, coatsy has been rucking lately and, and I, we made a decision now. We've got to get back to the back six that we think could win us a, you know, as many finals as possible. Mm -hmm. And that was probably today. We've got Straussy waiting in the wings, might play next week. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the six slash seven with one on the bench, that's, we're pretty happy with that. Um, Straussy could force his way in and that'll make him stronger. But we're, we want to try and get some, um, you know, good chemistry with that. Because that, they hold us up. I mean, they've, they've held us up the last two years and they've been the reason we've won a couple of flags. So we want to try and get that going for another, um, you know, next week and, and hopefully for three finals. And a lot of players running through the midfield. Have you worked out your best midfield <laughs> combination yet? Oh, yes and no. I mean, we, we don't always know who we've got. I mean, there's a few good midfielders that play in BFL and, you know, if a Sullivan bounces back, well, he's straight in there. So um, it's good to get some guys. We won't have Matty Arnott again, um, but it's good to, you know, Hodgie's back, Don Morgan's going to be the time in there, Jack Holden's finding his feet, and then there's obviously Duck and Brownie who are pretty regular. Mm. Um, but we're happy that we should have six, seven, eight guys that we can rely on to go through there. So, mm. yeah, I mean, there's the regulars and then there's the other guys and, and I'm, you know, it's horses for courses. Sometimes Brownie might be getting tagged or having an, an average day, so we'll chuck him forward and Wadey will go in there for a bit. So if we've got a bit of um, flexibility, then we're happy. And next week down to the snake pit for some Bernards. Yep. Not an ideal way to the end of the season, um, particularly if, if you can't go up or down on the ladder. Uh, yeah. How do you approach that game? No, we've got to, we haven't been playing well enough to uh, sort of flirt with form. We've got to go in and, and use this as a really good preparation. There, they'll be. I remember when we played them out here, they were pretty aggressive and, and physical and went out. And I, I dare say they'll do it even though they're not playing for anything. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a really good tune-up and we'll go at it with an intent to win. We won't be resting players, we won't be doing any of that stuff. We'll be you know, trying to get some confidence and play good footy leading into um, an elimination final the following week. Well, thank you, Guy. And just before I finish, a big congratulations to the uh, Scob Saints for their premiership win last week. So now I'll pass over to my colleague James with the coach of Old Kerry. Thanks, Jared. I'm now joined by Michael Tennant, coach of Old Kerry. Um, Michael, bit of a bit of a tough game. I thought um, Scobs really rebounded well um, from defensive 50. And you got in there but struggled to really capitalise. So. I guess, what did you make of that in the game overall today? Yeah, I thought it was uh, boys versus men today. I thought, uh, full credit to Scobbs, their intensity was fantastic. Uh, we were able to do one or two things in a chain well, but just couldn't get the three or four things to capitalise, as you're talking about. Their pressure was just too good, and, and they were able to force the turnover really, really well. Um, I'll ask about a, a couple of players. Jake Bradley's one, I think. The last few weeks he's been really good, winning winning plenty of footy. I think he's one of the hardest inside tacklers you have in the side. So, so what have you made of his season and I guess the last few weeks as well? Yeah, look, he's 
remarkable. I think it's his first year really of senior football and it's a big initiation in A grade playing against men. So I've found a lot of the boys have done really well in certain time frames. So for 10 or 15 minutes a quarter, they're doing really well and showing signs of improvement. So his, his defensive pressure is magnificent. Um, and second, Guy Dixon as well. He's been injured, I believe, and come back very recently in the last couple of weeks. And he's been probably one of your best players the last two weeks. So how, how, how good has he been for the side the last couple of weeks? It's, it's a second tall, uh, just versatile. So uh, you're able to play him in a few different positions. So it was, you know, as a second ruckman, a, a backman a and a forward. Back, yeah. And you just really see the club's really struggling for those mature players. So it was really good to have him to put out some spot yeah. fires during the game. Um, and lastly, last game of the season next week. What, yep. are you, what are you looking to take into that round and, and get out of it too? Yeah, look, uh, competitiveness. I was disappointed today with the result. Um, yep. you know, but the, it's not saying the boys didn't try. We were just beaten by a better side. So it's just important that we remain focused on being competitive and finishing the season off on you know, reasonable terms. Thanks for that, Michael. That's all from us uh, down here at TH King where Scobbs have beaten Old Kerry by 99 points. Thank you. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.